so loud. It's so annoying. Hello? Keep it down, please, people. Keep it down. People are trying to study. Babe. Are you serious? What? I'm trying to study. You hear how loud they are, don't you? I mean, yeah, but it's only 2 p.m. Let the kid have some fun. Kyle, it doesn't matter about time. It could be 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 4 p.m. It doesn't matter. It matters about respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, respect. That's what it's about. Gosh, you're so loud. I can't even get no work done. I think it's time to meet the new neighbors. Can I help you? I'm Karen, your next door neighbor. Hi Karen, I'm Taylor. Are you aware of how loud you're being playing that stupid game? What? Have you ever heard of keeping it down? I'm sorry, I didn't notice I was being so loud. Well you are, and it's annoying. Are your parents home? Yeah, my mom's asleep in her room. No wonder you don't have any decency. Your mom is asleep in the middle of the day. She doesn't teach you any respect. You have a lazy mom. Taylor, honey, who's at the door? It's Karen, our neighbor. What kind of mother doesn't discipline her own child? I'm sorry? Are you aware of how loud your child is being? It's the middle of the day and she's screaming at the top of her lungs. Everybody could hear her. What kind of mother are you? I'm sorry, I didn't think. You're a lazy mom. Asleep in the middle of the day? Who does that? This is why some people shouldn't even have children. Excuse me? Keep your child quiet or I'm gonna have to have both of you guys evicted. I've been living here for over 15 years. I know the landlord on a personal level and he takes my noise complaints very seriously. Oh, well, but it's in the middle of the day. You heard me, both of you. So, how'd it go? You would not believe how rude and inconsiderate those people are. You're being ridiculous, babe. I'm not being, don't call me ridiculous. Don't say what I'm doing is ridiculous. I'm not ridiculous. You hear what I hear. I'm just saying it's not worth getting so worked up about. Then why am I worked up? I'm telling you, it's not something that's worth stressing yourself out over. Mark my words, Kyle. If we allow this to continue, it's gonna get out of hand. Oh, oh, calm down. There won't be any order in this neighborhood. It's okay, just relax. Don't tell me to relax when those people are making the value of this neighborhood go down. Just breathe. Whose side are you on? I'm on your side, babe, I promise. They act like it. Just breathe. Oh my gosh. Babe, they're just cleaning. Cleaning for what, 20 minutes now? They've been running that loud vacuum for over 20 minutes. Please, just relax. We can just play music or something. It won't take too long. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm gonna go and handle this myself. How about that? Babe, please just relax. You know with your condition, you can't get too worked up. With my condition, I can't get, I'm not even 10% worked up yet. No, it's not. Are you aware of all the noise you're making in this apartment? Um, I'm just cooking and cleaning. I always cook and clean after I finish my homework. Do you not understand that some of us have to work hard to pay rent to live here? Yes, I am aware. And I'm very sorry if I made you upset, but this is the only time I have to clean. Where's your mom? Is she here? No, she's actually not home. She's- Let me guess. At the club partying again? Getting her jiggy on? No, that's not it. She just went to go- To the club! I know, you don't have to tell me. I hear what you're saying. Your mom is rude, irresponsible. She has children and doesn't even take care of them. That's the type of mother that she is to you. That's not true. Let me tell you something, Taylor. Your mom is a pathetic excuse for a mom. She chose to have a child and doesn't even take care of it. Don't talk about my mom like that! 
You're being rude and disrespectful. No, you're the one that's being rude. You're the one that's being disrespectful. In fact, I should call Child Protective Services right now. Let them come and take you away. You need to back off and stop being such a Karen. What did you just call me? Did you just call me a Karen? Yes, I did. Karen. You're acting like a big, fat, annoying Karen. You're acting like a big, fat, annoying brat. Hey, what are you doing? Let go of me. I'm going to teach you a lesson, something your mom should have done a long time ago. All I asked for was some quiet, and now I'm going to teach you what respect Let me. Let go of me. Let go of me. I'm going to teach you how to be quiet no. and how to be a good neighbor. Stop it. Let go. You're pure evil. Let go. Stop it. Please, let go. Stop it. Stop. Evil. I'm not even <laughs> evil. I'm a good neighbor. All I wanted was quiet. Stop it. Please let go! Is it too much to ask for? Stop it! Is everything okay, Karen? I have a heart condition. You have a heart condition? I gotta call the cops. Thank God. <laughs> what happened? You passed out. Your heart rate got too high. Mm. I keep trying to remind you. You need to not lose your temper. I thought I was gonna lose you. Oh, I'm so sorry I made you feel that way. It's okay. I'm just glad you're okay. How did I get here? Our neighbor, Taylor, called 911. She saved your life. Did she? I wasn't expecting that. Mm -hmm. She even came all the way to the hospital, but she had to leave because she had to go to school. Oh, wow. Oh, I think that's the doctor. Come in, Dr. Susan. Ah, I see the patient is finally awake. How are you feeling, Mrs. Walters? You? Yes, it's me. How are you feeling? You're the doctor? I am. Dr. Susan took care of you all night. She wanted to make sure you were okay. You were in good hands, Mrs. Walters. You know, we really have to treat you and Taylor to dinner sometime. You guys seriously saved my wife's life. <laughs> There's no need, Mr. Walters. We're just trying to do what any good person should do. So this is what you do? You're a doctor? Mm-hmm. I work here every night. Oh, that makes so much sense now. You're not partying every night. You're here saving lives. She didn't want to leave until she made sure you were okay. She even stayed past her shift. Wow. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? For being a horrible neighbor the way I treated you and Taylor. Oh, that's all in the past, Mrs. Walters. You don't have to apologize for anything. Sometimes we jump to conclusions and assume the worst about a person. It can happen to the best of us. I can see that you're an amazing mom, and Taylor is lucky to have you as a role model. Trust me, I'm the lucky one. Taylor is turning out to be such an independent child at such a young age. I'm very proud of her. It's easy to look at people and to make quick judgments about them. But you shouldn't jump to any conclusions without first looking inside someone's heart. That's where the true and real person lies. What's up guys, we hope you all enjoyed that video. If you guys did, please don't forget to share it with someone who might need to hear this message. We love you all and we will see you in the next one.